Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we looked at we looked at Cloud's past, and we finally got to see an image of Sephiroth himself, and what he used to be, and what he became. Today, we're going to continue our hunt after Sephiroth. <coughs> Let's go ahead and talk to Barrett. Yo, Cloud, here. And here we receive the PHS, changing party members. So. What we do from here on out, if we want to use another party member, we exit the menu and select the PHS icon. It can only be used on the world map, or at a save point. Just use, just use PHS, and you can contact any of us easily. Alright then, we're out of here. Alright, so with that all done... I must address that I have to go back shopping after every single thing. Thing that we got in the last episode. Oh, um, yeah, because I forgot to save after episode 17 finished. So, yeah, that's kind of a bad thing. So, I'll be right back. All right, we are back, and we are now in the, and we are now back in the world map. So let's go ahead and test this PHS system out. Oh yeah, it's looking exactly like Barrett told us. So let's go ahead and get Barrett and Tifa back in the party, and let's go ahead and equip them up because um, we got some we got some good weapons. First off, for Barrett, we have the atomic scissors. This is a close range weapon, which is typically out of the Barrett norm. So if you ever end up giving Barrett a short range weapon, you want to put him in the front row immediately. As for Tifa, we want to bought her the Mithril Claw, which is easily better than her than her metal knuckle currently, and it also and it's also sadly the best thing to come out of the Calm Weapon Shop. I am not joking. Literally every other weapon there sucks. Just one um. I want to see how everyone is, is doing right now. So, Cloud is looking pretty good over there. Um, oh, also, it looks like we can actually see our elementals here. Fire, ice, lightning, earth, poison, gravity, water, wind, and holy. I believe we have seen all but... Well, we just got the earth materia now, so we're about to see that. We've seen gravity in action, but we've never actually gotten it. Water magic isn't until much later on. Um, wind is something we haven't seen yet, but we are very close to seeing. And then a holy... Good luck finding that. Um, we are finally moving out of the Midgar area. Wow. Our adventure begins. I still want uh, Aerith and Red 13 in my party. I mean, it's not that I don't like them, it's just, it's just, it's not that I don't like Barrett and Tifa, it's just the fact that we've seen them in our party for so long, that I kind of want to change the pace. It's going to equip Aerith with, hold on, let's go ahead and see what we got. No one's with fire, ice, cloud has two all materials, but I explain where the other one went. Um, also, what am I doing? I need to give cloud this other cover. Aerith, I'm gonna go ahead and give the heal materia. This right here will cure you of status as Poisona, will cure poison. Isuna, I believe, cures confusion. And I forget what resist does. But we're gonna go ahead and equip this and the new earth materia to Aerith. Because Aerith is easily the best when it comes to stuff like this. Anyway, up we come, and also we got more encounters. And it's these guys. Once again, just gonna just kill them all here. Cloud, I'm just gonna have these magic magic, cause why not? And anyway, we got the drift turn going on us. More fire. Where are already casted? I don't know anything happening, but okay. Okay, they're both dead. That works. So, with that out of the way. Oh! 
one experience point for Aerith to get to level 12. Wow, okay. Thanks a lot. So yeah, we're finally headed down to the Midgar area. And I believe once we cross this mountain right here, we will be... Here, and welcome to the Grasslands area. Oh god, Jesus Christ. And as you can tell, with every new area that you're gonna approach, there will be new enemies, and this time we have them in the form of a preemptive attack. I'm gonna go on ahead and just attack these guys now and just put them out of their misery. Or, you know, they can just resist really every single attack that I throw at them, which does not work for me whatsoever, so we're just gonna go ahead and oh, cloud in the air cover my area. Yeah, it would seem to me that these guys really do like getting hit by magic, so even if it's an enemy skill. Yeah, they are taking that beautifully. Okay, that is... This is just going bad, because... Slow dance? Okay, so you're gonna go on foot slow. Yeah, our physical attacks are great more damage. And... I almost never use, um... Physical attacks on Aerith, but they're probably gonna do more damage with this rate. And... With that done... Aerith finally gets her level up. We get a loss in that. So in here, you see that very strong enemy. Someday, but not now. I can probably estimate that we're going to be here shortly. But we got a new area right here, so let's go on and head on in. And birds, work, work now. Dance. So these these birds right here, these are chocobos. Um. Chocobos are a main staple in the Final Fantasy series ever since Final Fantasy 2, I believe. And they're still a staple today. There's not a single Final Fantasy game besides Final Fantasy 1 that does not have a Chocobo somewhere in it. And for having them dance for us, we get a new materia, the Chocomog materia. Um, this one is actually pretty unique. The Chocomog Materia is our first instance of a Summon Materia. Oh boy, this is grand. Summon Materias are the ultimate Materias in the entire game. They will cast Summons, which are going to be probably the most powerful met, which will probably contain some of the most powerful moves we have seen up to this point. And Chocomog's kind of like a two-in-one type thing, because it can cast two moves. Um, it can either cast, um, its regular move, or it can cast a move called the Fat Chocobo, which is literally what it sounds like. So, let's go on ahead and talk to you. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yes, we can have no choice but to go there. Plot demands. Hmm. Then it'll probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the Chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by, by attacked by the Midgar Zolom. I cannot speak. Midgar Zolom. It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. Well, Jesus Christ, God help you if you can even get past something like that. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then BAM, it attacks. To avoid that, buy a chocobo, me and chocobo, Billy's chocobo farm. To purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Yeah, you can also use this place as an inn. And just saying, I'm not using it, because we have potions and stuff for that. 
Yeah, this is the Chocobo farm. Um, you get used to seeing this place a lot towards the end game because um, this just straight up sucks. Also, this kid just called us old. We're all out of Chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones up there for someone else. You know, if you really want a Chocobo, you should go out and catch one. You want to know how to catch a Chocobo? Uh, I think I can just simplify this. He's gonna sell us the Chocobo Lord Materia for 2,000 gil. Wouldn't hurt to get some greens either. Yeah, greens are basically... You're dead broke. We can barely afford Geishel Greens, which are the worst kind. Jeez, we're gonna have to go and get rid of some items. We'll need to get rid of some of these. Drains MP out of an opponent, which is good for right now. Local Weed uses Confu on an opponent. Gravity Ball uses Demi. We might be doing that. We can't sell Buster Swords for some whatever reason. We can also get rid of Barrett's Assault Gun. And Lass and Nuts, but we won't be needing those either. We can also get rid of Tifa's Metal Knuckles, which means we should be... Yeah, we are good. Um, I'm gonna buy two Tantal Greens, which leaves us with a measly three gil. We are dead broke, and now we have to use Materia, and sadly, I can only get it the Red 13. Chocobo Lore Materia will raise your luck, but on the contrary... It's got, that's pretty much all it does, aside from it enables you to go after chocobos. Um, there is an alternative to getting past that marsh over there. Um, I actually kind of want to show it off, but before we do, there's actually an enemy over here I kind of want to fight. Not gonna lie. So, in fact, let's check our levels real quick. Okay, good, one of us is a level 12. This will work beautifully. So what we need to do now is that we need to encounter it, which we did on the first try. Nice. Um, uh, let's go ahead and attack for them. Um, I kind of want to get rid of this guy up front, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, in case you're wondering why I want to go after this guy, these enemies have an enemy skill for us. Our second instance of one, and I kind of want it. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, this is like the third time I said that in a single sentence. The question is getting this guy to even use the attack, because I have no idea how to do it. Also, Red 13 is painfully low in health, so we need to like, get that done now. Also, let's go ahead and slip fang on this guy. Um, uh, yeah, get you out of here, because I don't want to take any more kicks. And also, we need to heal our Red 13, so we got that going for us. We should be fine for- There it is, level 4 suicide! Ow! Um, Aerith healing win now. Cloud matching magic. Um, that move hurts, but it will literally will not do any damage to anybody who is a, um... It... Level 4 Suicide only works on you if you are any level divisible by 4. Um, it also, and also if you can see Aerith right there, she is also inflicted with mini status. Which also sucks. But on the contrary, we got our enemy skill, so we are done. With that guy. Now we can go ahead and take on the Chocobos. Or do we? There's a marsh over there, and I kind of want to do something with it, so I'll be back after a little bit of grinding. Alright, we are back. Literally only one level gained. That's pathetic, yeah. Um, but I think I kind of want this reward now, just... Putting it out there, so we're just gonna step in this marsh. Here comes the snake, and oh god! So here he is, the Midgar Zolom. Um, this thing is quite the beast. So we're gonna go ahead and just 
poison this thing real quick. Oh my god, I did a whole lot of damage. Now we need to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Just realized how low Cloud's health was. We need to stop that thing. 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 Now, 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 now. Please do not go after Cloud. Do not go after Cloud. Okay, go Jesus Christ. Okay. Um... Red 13, I am really glad. Red 13, you can bio. Red 13, you need to go for that. This is problematic. Um, we are just relying on limit breaks at this point. This is. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um, off screen, Aerith gained a new limit break called Seal Evil, which inflicts uh, silence on the opponent. Um, something. Oh god. Oh god. Um, this is it. We need to make sure we can at least take this attack. Um, this is not gonna end very well, I have a feeling. Um,. I just died. Phoenix to oh, that's why I went Cloud. Oh, he killed Aerith too, crap. Okay, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Um crap, going the Cloud. Come on. Oh, he's just going after Cloud. What is this? Can, can you attack Red 13, please? Okay, thank you. Even though you just killed him. Oh, God. Oh, shit, we just got a game over. And that's that. And we're back. Good Christ. Never will I ever do that again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, now it's time for me to teach you guys how to do, how to catch yourselves a chocobo. Um, so this material right here that I clipped to Cloud in his, right mo in his bottom rightmost slot, the chocobo lure materia. What you want to do is that you want to equip that to one of your party members and run along these little patches of grass. Right here. These little tracks are. Um, eventually, a chocobo will appear. And it should appear with a different battle theme like so. So when this appears, that means you can counter the chocobo. Um, so what you do from here on out that you throw a green at the chocobo and now with it being fed you can go ahead and start to kill these guys while it's busy um, doing its thing so we can go ahead and kill this guy over here oh wait the bird brain over here doesn't want to die so we're going to have to go ahead and uh, force him If the chocobo is like that, it can actually- Oh, we got it! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! So! Um... Now that we got ourselves a chocobo... So, we can- So, we... So we can just move it like so. If you press B, you will dismount, and if you dismount, that chocobo is- That chocobo is running away. So, whatever you do, do not press B. Um, while you're also at the marsh, I'd easily recommend watching the, the Midgar Zolom's movements. Yeah, I'm not challenging that snake again. I am getting out of here now. Because... I don't want to fight that thing again. But now that we're on the other side of this marsh, we can just go ahead and dismount and let it escape. But... On the other side, we find... This... 
Yeah, apparently Sephiroth did this. And he impaled a another Midgar Zolem with a tree. Our enemy is someone who that someone that can do this. It's it's a power that we should respect. It's a power that we should respect. Yet this is coming from our enemy here. Um so yeah. We got the PHS. We got two new materia. We attempted to beat the Midgar Zolem, but ultimately failed, but we ended up getting around it regardless. And in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, we're going to push through this cave. See you guys then.